Hey, Dr. Barnes, how you doing? All right. Uh, this I found out on the sidewalk this morning, and it is a female cicada. And how you can tell that it's the female is the elongated body where the bottom portion comes into like a little V. Uh, the male actually has a rounded body frame, and they're the ones that make the noises. And the females are attracted to the male by the loudest noise that they make for mating purposes. Um, what will happen is once they come out of the ground, uh, they'll climb up on the trees, the males will make the noise, the male and female will mate. They do not eat at all during this period, anywhere between 10 and 14 to 21 days that they're out of ground. The female will lay the eggs on leaves or up on the bark uh, high in the trees. And then what they'll do is the eggs will drop and then they'll fall to the ground and they'll find the little holes that they came out of and they'll burrow themselves on the ground for another four to five to seven to 14 years. But anyhow, this is a little female right here. Um, as I alluded to earlier, the male uh, makes the noise and what it is is their body is rounded down at the bottom. And the noise that they make is called the timbal, T-Y-M-B-A-L, and they make a very, very loud noise. You'll hear them late in the evenings all day long. Um, but they do not bite, they don't do anything, they, they don't hurt our system at all. Uh, when they get done mating and they fall to the ground, all kinds of animals will come feed on them. Snakes and lizards and frogs and turtles and uh, possums and raccoons, they'll just eat them up till they're full. Interesting. But that is a little female right there. Now she's still alive right now as you can see and probably I'm going to guesstimate by her color right now, maybe another three to five days, and then uh, she will perish. Wow. A short, brief, happy life of a cicada.